What's up my baby daddies? Welcome back to my channel. You're currently looking at the newest fashion designer on the block. Yes, and I'm gonna say it with my chest. Can you hear me? <laughs> Let's start by greeting one another. Hello, how have you been? I have some exciting news. I did the thing that I've been saying I was going to do. Did it. And I did it in silence. I started a clothing line. This is like a couple days after the ending of my first campaign. This is two days after that. People are still confused as to what's going on exactly. The company is not just about fashion and cute ask accessories. I'm also building a modeling agency that's gonna change the beauty standard for good. But for the past couple of years, what I've been really wanting is to find my passion and do it for a living. I had to go back and forth with a lot of different things to figure out if this is actually what I wanted to do, and it is. Literally, let's talk about it. This is a completely new venture and probably my most exciting venture to date because it's something that I've never done before. So the reason why I started Dimes A Dozen, right? It's actually been about a year in the making. A lot of different things throughout the year actually pushed me off my path left and right, but God had a vision for me and he made sure that I got to that vision by any means necessary, by every means necessary. I just think it's completely crazy how it happened, but we're here and I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I, and I just thank God for guiding me in this direction because when I tell you this is like one of the most, the scariest, but also the most rewarding thing that I've ever done in my life. Like when it came to doing something that I had envisioned that I wanted to do since I was a child. I'm talking about creating my own clothing. Like aside from the fast fashion and the wholesale and resale, I've always wanted to make my own clothes. The fact that we're here now is just crazy. But what I really wanted to do with Dimes A Dozen was merge the modeling and hosting industry with the fashion industry. I wanted to be able to teach girls how to maintain their poise and their grace in public and be able to host events and talk to people and network and build opportunities for themselves while also looking very cute in clothing that fits them and accentuates their assets. You know what I mean? Um, because I think that's really important. I wanted the pieces of clothing that I'm creating to be able to be worn several times and also in different ways. So that's the reason why this top is dual sided because okay, maybe I wore this top yesterday, but let me switch this around and then flip it around and it's a completely different top. That's really important for me when it comes to clothing because I don't want to have to go and waste my money every day. I've been there, I've done that. You guys have seen me be there and do that, okay? <laughs> on this YouTube channel. You guys have seen me spend my money on clothes back to back to back. Whether it's cheap clothes or expensive clothes, you've seen brands send me all different types of clothes and I'm just at a point in my life where I just want clothing that I can wear several different ways. And I don't necessarily care how much it's gonna cost for me to make it. That's what I've been doing, making clothes for myself and just wearing them. I just want it to fit me nice. I want it to accentuate my body parts. I want to feel sexy. I don't want to always have to wear a bra. I don't always wanna wear a bra. Today I'm just wearing a top. And it's a very comfortable top and it's holding everything. Cause I know what my body needs in order for me to feel comfortable and cute and sexy. And to explain the modeling slash hosting aspect of Dimes A Dozen, I think you would just have to be there. You would just have to come to one of our events because my models, the models who work for Dimes A Dozen are hand picked. I feel like there's a way where everybody could wear the clothes that we wanna wear um, without having to feel like small, medium, large, restricted like that. So my website is a little bit different. I don't expect you guys to come on my website and see 80 new pieces of clothing every day. They're not gonna be $20, $15. They're gonna be priced the way they should be priced based off of what I'm creating. There's four pieces in my first collection and then I do a campaign where I roll out every piece in the collection one week at a time. That's because I didn't tell anybody what I was doing before I did it. And this might have been the best idea for what it is that I am doing anyways, because I feel like I've gotten so much further doing things without people necessarily knowing what it is I'm doing and just having to catch up. This was actually my first piece and 
most intricate. This is a wrap we're not calling it a skirt we're not calling it a top we're calling it a multi style wrap because you could use this as a top you could wear it as a skirt you could wear it as a headpiece you could wear it as so many different things which is the whole point of dimes a dozen dimes know how to work our pieces at least 12 times this was the first piece that i launched and everybody loved it i'll throw some pictures up and some content that we made in it my tailor don't play about me let's just say that Let's just say it like that. My tailor, don't play about me. The second piece that I dropped was actually this pearl and gold and rhinestone necklace and body chain set. So you can wear it so many different ways, which is the whole point of Dimes a Dozen, is that you're able to wear things so many different ways. So I'll throw some videos and pictures up of me and my girls showing you guys how we've rocked this. I just feel like pearls and gold and rhinestones being a part of my first accessory that I dropped on Dimes a Dozen was necessary. You know what I mean? I didn't know what to pick. I didn't know whether to do pearls, I didn't know whether to do gold, I didn't know whether to do rhinestones, so I did all three because that's what you're supposed to do. The third piece that we dropped was this cheetah top. And the reason why I love this cheetah top is because of the dimensions of it. It's one size. If I show you the pictures of all the girls wearing this top, you're gonna be like, what? Everybody was wearing the same exact piece of clothing. Yeah, I'm not playing y'all. I'm not playing. Everybody was wearing the same exact piece of clothing. After our photo shoots, we take our girls out on a little outing, whether it's the club or a bar or a restaurant or whatever. And we went to an event that night and everybody was like, we need pics. I wanna see, I need pics. Like people were like, take, can we take pics? If I show you the pics of us in this piece right here, y'all. This is the last piece of that collection and it's two-sided. People loved it. We actually dropped this top in Vegas for our first ever contract um, to host an event outside of our state. So I thought that was really dope. And as a matter of fact, I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor, Anyaika. They gave me a padded laptop backpack and it's pink. They have laptop bags, they have shoes, they got cell phone cases, they have backpacks. And I'm so happy that I was able to get a backpack. That's just a small piece of promo for a brand who believed in me and my brand. I appreciate you and we had so much fun in Vegas. That was our first collab and we actually have another one in the lineup, so I can't wait for that. If you guys are not following me on my social media platforms, I'm just gonna go ahead and soft plug them right here because it's not just one anymore, it's not just two anymore, it's not just three anymore. I guess you can call me a multi-business owner. <laughs> If you want to keep up with me on the day-to-day, -day, follow me on Hi Mamara because I normally collaborate with Hi Mamara for whatever it is that I'm doing because that is my main page. My backup page is Amara Real on Instagram. But instead of me boring you with the names, I'm just going to put all the names to all my brands and their social media pages down below. And then I'll make another video breaking down all the different brands and what I'm doing on different pages so that you guys can understand why there's so many different pages and how to keep up with me because I know I'm all over the place, but that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing a lot of things. Hello. I'm just super excited um, of the trajectory of Dimes a Dozen and Royale Beauty and everything that I have my hands in right now because I've just learned so much and I'm just so happy to be able to actually implement everything and share it with my following. So if you guys want to watch some really cute content, um, well thought out, well edited, well filmed, high quality content, we're going to be dropping that on Dimes a Dozen as well. So make sure you guys follow Dimes a Dozen. This is just going to be a fun page to follow. Even if you don't purchase any of the clothing, and I recommend you do because most of the clothing are going to be one of a kind. You know, it's, you're not gonna be matching with anybody in the club, but anyway. I definitely filmed some vlogs of the process of me going downtown, finding the pieces, putting them together, going to my seamstress, getting a pattern together, making the, making the pieces, trying them on. I have videos and stuff of that, but I haven't been able to really edit them. I don't have time to edit. And the hardest part about finding an editor is that you want someone who cares about your brand enough that they're gonna actually put their foot into that editing, you know what I mean? They're gonna edit it as if it is their brand. It's hard to find somebody like that because you have to work with someone before you figure out how they work and you have to get used to someone before you really get to settle into how they actually work. So you literally have to practice with a bunch of different people, which takes a lot of time. I don't have enough time on my memory card, but I want you guys to comment down below Give this video a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. I'll be back really soon with more videos. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to style this top 
hella different ways because you could literally style that top a hundred different ways. So stay tuned for that and a bunch more videos really promoting my brand because I mean, for the longest I have been promoting a lot of other people's brands, right? My turn. I love you guys. Go out and do wonderful things in the world and make sure no drama comes from anybody but me because I'm your baby mama. We're here. The hotel's actually pretty cute. I got the dime to Vegas. How many of you guys have ever pulled 12 bad bitches from their state into another state? Okay, you know what I'm talking about.